Our next workshop is going to be the pocket hole footstool workshop. In Allentown, the, the uh, workshop is going to be going on June 20th from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday, June 21st from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. In the Harrisburg store, it's going to be going on June 27th, uh, same time, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. and June 28th, 10 a.m. To, to 2 p.m. This is a, a photo of the uh, the Craig footstool. We're going to be doing a little bit of a variation in this. Uh, it's going to have a solid top. This is one that we used uh, just some spare wood. Happened to have some some uh, tiger maple that was just cut off, so and we uh, filled the top of this with epoxy and covered it with uh, a water lock. So it looked uh, looked really nice. Um, good good display of this uh, the simple little footstool. This is the cut list of the footstool. We're going to make a top, stringers, and the uh, the legs. Uh, we start at the bandsaw and we cut a seven degree angle on the, the side of the legs, display the legs, and then we cut the center piece out and then we go to the uh, spindle sander and sand off the inside of these legs. Then we go to the router table and we, we uh, round over the inside of this curve and then we round over the, the top, the top and the bottom of the top. Uh, the stringers have a seven degree cut so that the top of the uh, table attaches to the uh, uh, to the legs themselves. It's a seven degree so the legs splay. Uh, we, we actually cut the stringers and make the stringers as a part of the package. This is the, uh, the, the pieces of the, the package will end up with the stringers, two legs and the top. Uh, and this is a uh, kind of a, a display of how that the, the legs get um, a, a seven degree cut at the top when it's, where it's flush. We go to the uh, pocket hole jig and put two holes in each end of the, the stringer and then we put two holes in the, the legs to attach it to the top. Uh, this is the 90 degree angle that uh, will attach the stringers to the legs and this is a 90 de degree clamp, a Craig clamp that we use that holds the workpiece in place while it's screwed together. Uh, this is the the, uh, the the assembly of the uh, the legs in the stringer. We haven't put the top on yet. Before we put the top on, we use the pocket hole plugs. You can see these are maple plugs in in poplar, uh, kind of offsets, and and, and um, uh, you can see these plugs are are proud of the wood. So we take those and sand those down with the Festool Rotex sander. Uh, everything gets sanded off and smooth, and you can see the top. Again, this is the seven degree angle, so the top of this where it attaches, it's important for this to be uh, a flat surface. This is the, uh, the, the, the footstool assembled. Uh, we do use the glue uh, in addition to the uh, pocket hole screws, and that makes it very solid. This is a, a picture of a, a completed uh, uh, footstool. It's not finished. Uh, and the, the tools used is going to be the bandsaw, the router table, the spindle sander, cordless drill, orbital sander, Craig pocket hole jig. And then we'll, uh, we'll actually have a sprayer set up and we'll, we'll be, the wood we use is going to be cherry uh, and the stringers will be walnut. And then we actually are going to spray finish the, uh, the footstool with a, a general finishes in Durovar. We also have a work, workshop package deal. Buy the K4 and get a, a free assorted screws, a, a thousand fifty of the assorted screws. So that'll be a nice package if you like the the, uh, the Craig pocket hole jig. This is a good deal. Uh, come to the Woodcraft Store, Allentown and Harrisburg, and to the workshops. See it, try it, make it.